Hello everybody and welcome to Brink. My name is Insane Acorn and I am a humble scholar of Brinkology. And I hope you enjoy this video that I'm about to bring you. So, Brink is finally here after all this waiting and hype that I've been kind of giving it. Just being excited to play a different game, a new game. Uh, something that's, you know, basically different than Bad Company and the other Battlefield series. Or Battlefield games even. And such. And first things first, I adore this game. To be, it has its flaws. I'm not going to get, you know, I'm not going to say it's perfect, but I, I adore it right now. I think it's amazing, and I'm not going to give a review because I'm going to wait for it to sink in for a couple of days and then things like that, and then I'll give my final opinions on it. But so far, I really like it, and it's just, oh, it's just nice to play something different. I was playing Battlefield a couple of nights ago, and I was just kind of bored and fed up of doing that same thing grind kind of thing you know it was this loot it was losing its touch I've played it far too much and I just wanted another game that wasn't a cod game you know um, uh, portal was a nice break I, I love playing portal I'm still gonna do the co-op with my brother someday but you know uh, but Brinks finally got here after waiting and waiting and you US people got it first for no reason other than Bethesda loves you I hate Bethesda for doing that to us UK people. Like, it was developed by Splash Damage, which is based in London, which I keep pestering to hire me. <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, I've been just on Twitter like, uh, saying to them, hire me, you need some new uh, audio developers <laughs> and things like that. And they don't reply, but you know, I think that's the community manager's fault. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think Splash Damage have done a fantastic job. And I just love how different the game is from everything else. It kind of reminds me of Shadowrun, uh, just a, a little bit, and I'll explain that more later as to why it does. But uh, for now, I'm just going to go into the parts that I really love. I love how I need to get used to this game, you know. It's not a shooter that you can just run into, go all guns blazing out, and, you know, like, like Modern Warfare. It's... it's it's not like a Twitch shooter kind of thing. Well, it is and it isn't. It's, it's very different as to how you approach it because there's more running involved. There's more, there is strategy involved. You know, you need to know the maps and it's not, you know, run along this line and hopefully you can't hear my fan. For some reason, my MacBook's just gone like <laughs> crazy, but I'll see if uh, my effects can get rid of that. But what was I saying? Yeah, you can't, you know, just run in a direct linear path to a point, you know. You've got your parkour system, your, um, the smart system, um, which is quite funny because all the videos I've watched, uh, they really bang on about this smart system. And every single time they say the exact same word, you know. Well, what we have is smart, which stands for smooth movement across random terrain. In every single interview, they say that. And it got to a point where they've talked about it so much that in, you know, recent interviews, they say the same thing. And uh, the interview is just like, yeah, I know, we've kind of heard that a million times. You're going to tell us anything else. And it really made me giggle when I uh, see those reviews. But it's not a perfect system, but it is very good. And it changes the entire game like it's not just you know like I said a linear straightforward path you know shoot whoever's in your way um, you know you can only take a path uh, or you can go in buildings you know this you can go over things you can vault you can duck you can slide and knock people to the ground it's it's got a really good system and it is it's not as smooth as smooth but it is quite smooth I would say smoothish <laughs> Smoothish movement over random terrain, or I think it should be smoothish, smoothish movement over most terrain. That makes a, a bit more sense as to what it is, but it is still very good system, and I love what they've done with it. It kind of a mix between a uh, first-person shooter and um, now what's the game called Mirror's Edge that I played the demo of tons of times. It was a great demo. I'll give you that because I played it tons. I should buy that really. It's only like three pounds. But anyways, I, the smart system I love. Uh, it needs. It does need a couple of bits of tweaking. But uh, for, for now, whatever you know, it's a, pretty much a new, a kind of semi-new thing. And I love what, that about it. It's made this game 
another thing I love about it is the weapon customization. I made my weapons all so beefy, like it took me maybe half an hour to an hour most to unlock all the attachments doing the tutorial kind of challenge levels. And I thought it was just amazing. I just went in to have all these guns with all these attachments I can just have on. I was just having so much fun with the customizable uh, appearances and what I can put on and the scopes and all the kind of separate things. And what I've done now is I've just got huge drum magazines on all of my weapons so I hardly ever run out of ammo. And so I can just spray and spray and spray. It does take a little longer to reload, but it's just like... And another random point I like is the crosshairs. Like when you see me change to an automatic weapon, uh, it's got a circle crosshair, see? And it's really good. I love that it's not got the, the, the lines instead. That's one thing that I really quite like about it. Um, this video is only a short video, so I'm running out of time now. I'm just gonna wrap up and say this is part one of two. I'm gonna upload another video as soon as I can. Um, just trying to show the difference between playing against humans and bots. And if you didn't notice, um, I'm playing against bots for this uh, this round, this video. And if you didn't notice until now, good. <laughs> I mean, if, if that's if it's not obvious that you know to, to the point that you didn't notice, then I think that's a good job on the AI, to be honest. But yeah, there is a, a very huge difference between playing with bots and uh, playing with people. So in the next video, we'll be playing against actual people, and I think I've done all right. Uh, to be honest, and I just don't want people to harp on about, oh, you're playing against bots. I mean, I played against bots in 2142 and had some people say, oh, you're playing against bots, oh dear, that game is nuts, alright? I had to play against bots, but this game's different. Um, I'm going to go about it into more detail in my next video, so I look forward to that, and I hope you've enjoyed this, and I really recommend buying Brink for now, at least rent it, okay, just to try it out. So uh, take care, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll be back soon.